In this video, we're going to look at how to find the e-consult form for your GP surgery using a computer or a laptop. In this video, we're using the Chrome web browser. So once you've opened Chrome, if you just click in the search bar, and first of all, we're going to look at Linthorpe. So we come there, Linthorpe Surgery. open up the website and then we just need to scroll down and it's located here and we just click where it says get started now for future reference what you can do is you can create a bookmark so we just click on the little start there you could change that if you want so just start typing and make sure it's on the bookmarks bar so it will appear along here and then just click done And then the next time you want to find it, you can just click e-consult. The other option is you can right click on the web address up here. Click copy. And then add a shortcut. So just click on add shortcut. And call it e-consult. And then click in the URL, which is basically the website full address. And right click there and then click paste and then click done it will appear there and then you can just click on the shortcut and it takes you there as well if you're with borough road so borough road and unthorpe surgery just go to the website and again scroll down it's on here and just click anywhere on there and that will open it up and the same again for village so village Med medical center middlesbrough open up the website and again here it's straight in front of you if you click on either one of those and it takes you to the same page and if you are with foundations, again, you go to the web, website foundations, medical practice. It's this one here. So we click on there. And then see where it's, it's contact your doctors online. Click on the little arrow up there. And then choose which service that you want. Click on that. And that'll take you straight. To the consult site and if you can see at the top here it says foundation zacklin road so you know you're the right gp surgery and again for any of these it's just click on the bookmarks bar change the name if you wish make sure it's on the bookmarks bar and then the other folder and then click done and your shortcuts will be there so it's much easier to find next time that you want to use the service 